Now, if any of you remember, we got a lecture about a couple of things, one of those being the tampons. I'm going to clear that up right away. But first, the other thing was the lock between the girls' and guys' dorm on the second floor. We got in trouble because it was rumored that someone tampered with the lock, and the sender had to pay large amounts of money to get a new one put in. Now, here's what really happened. One of the boys happened to have his grandmother's old house key, and just by slim chance, it was exactly the same as the lock for the door. Now, there was absolutely no tampering with the lock. It was simply a fluke. And yes, it is possible. So, the whole buying expensive new lock wasn't necessary. All they had to do was take the key. Simple as that. Now, for the tampon bit, I guess the staff were told that people were inserting them into others' mouths while they were sleeping. This is completely untrue, as Chris was the one doing it, and um, I have videotape of it. So, you know, um, you guys can see for yourself what actually happened.
two with a dead bomb. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going down. I'm going down. For the record, the clock I was trying to take it down, it was not working, I pulled up twice, didn't show any signs of moving, so I lightly tugged downwards on the clock, down pulling motion, the clock, it separated, the back came off the front, I had no intention of the arms falling off, truly sorry about that one, uh, can't really comment on the the feminine products. Uh, I never did get it in anyone's mouth, but it, it was on the chin, chin area, and they woke up. So, and pads. That's. I got hit a few times. I got one. I got hit in the shower. That's uh, what they're there for. That's what Canada's about.